Good morning, it's Thursday, October 5th, 2023. My name is Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, No Help, and our scripture is Colossians chapter 2, where the Apostle Paul writes, You have died with Christ, and he has set you free from the spiritual powers of this world. So why do you keep on following the rules of the world, such as don't handle, don't taste, don't touch? Such rules are mere human teachings about things that deteriorate as we use them. These rules may sound wise because they require strong devotion, pious self-denial, and severe bodily discipline. But they provide no help in conquering a person's evil desires. Every rule created by humankind has helped and hurt. This is true in businesses, communities, families, and any other kind of human interaction, particularly in government. Rules are mostly created to limit bad results. On the highways, for instance, properly signaling you're about to make a turn is intended to help the other cars refrain from plowing into your car. That's a helpful rule. But if you forget to signal, it creates confusion. Worse, if you signal the opposite of what you're going to do, signaling a right turn and then you hang a sharp left, well, the consequences could have mortal impact. The rule against making noise in the library is meant to make concentrating on reading easier. However, the rule should be loudly violated if the library is on fire. The rule in business of the customer is always right makes for a very pleasant shopping experience, except if the customer pulls out a forty-five caliber pistol and demands all the money. Properly observed, rules serve a purpose, but only so far. When they become bludgeons to manipulate others, it's time to quote-unquote rule out the rules. Go back to the square one and be ruled by a higher purpose. This is Paul's meaning about the world's rule. When Christ sets a soul free to be guided by the higher bar of love, legalistic rule following never measures up. Legalism in the Christian often manifests itself as ugly, cold-hearted cruelty. You can't touch that, don't go there, and for heaven's sakes do not drink that. These probably have their origin in some higher purpose, but eventually must be put aside if they become idols, compelling us to rely on our own personal self-denial, our discipline, and our skills. When we worship what we do as being acceptable to God, we've lost all sense of what God really asks of us. And what is it which he requires? Check out what the scripture says, Joshua chapter 22, verse 5. Love the Lord your God, walk in all his ways, obey his commands, hold firmly to him and serve him with all your heart and all your soul. This is a Christian's principle. Serving God with all your heart and soul is looking beyond the rules to the heart of God's love and mercy. This was what was wrong with the Pharisees. In Matthew's Gospel, we find the Pharisees judging Jesus and his disciples for breaking the rules. They were walking through a wheat field on a Sabbath day, and they were hungry. They broke off some of the stems to nibble, and the Pharisees read them the riot act because they were breaking the Sabbath rules by harvesting wheat on the holy day. Jesus told them this in Matthew 12:7, But you would not have condemned my innocent disciples if you knew the meaning of this scripture. I want you to show mercy, not offer sacrifices. Paul educated the church folks at Rome to be this way. He said in chapter 12, verse 9, Let love be genuine. Abhor what's evil. Hold fast to what is good. For you today... So the principle comes down to this. Don't be a phony, breaking rules that are sensible commands of love that resonate with the heart of God, or by trying to manipulate others with rules that give you an edge. Instead, let love be your rule, doing the best to others for God. Do you on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.